Scoville Shin so aptly said, your word is your wand. And she was so right because words are creative. Whether you speak them or write them down, which actually they're super, super creative when you do that, speak them or write your da them down. But even the ones that are in your thoughts, unconscious or subconscious thoughts, are enormously powerful, enormously creative. The more we think about things, um, the more we create them because our thoughts are made up of words, right? But then when we speak those words out, they're even more powerful. And if we write them down, the same is true. And the universe is always listening to us, both our thoughts and our spoken and written words. It's the universe, God, source, whatever you want to call it, is paying attention and trying to discern what it is we want. What do we want to create? Because it is it helps us do that. It's a co-creator with us, right? So the universe is deciphering what it is we want. What do we want to create? Um, what do we desire? And the problem is that most of us don't know. <laughs> we have an easier time saying what we don't want than what we do want. And um, we also talk, talk and think about what we want constantly or what we need. And when you tell the universe you want or need something, that's what it gives you, more wanting and needing. So you don't want to use those words, want or need because it keeps you wanting. It's telling the universe you don't have something and you choose to um, continue wanting it or not having it. So we have to watch our language, okay? <laughs> you and I, me too, because I, I think about this all, well, I forget to think about it actually. And we need to pay attention to the words we're using, our language, the language of our thoughts, of our, of our speech, and of uh, the, whatever we write down because we're constantly creating with them, constantly, like magic. It's a wand. <laughs> so be sure you're using your words in the most powerful way that you can. You can use words to create what you want, and we should be doing that. It's what we do naturally. But we, we need to choose words that clearly state that we already have what we want, or we already enjoy whatever it is we desire to manifest. Um, the words we use must indicate that we know it's coming to us soon. So when you think about the words you're using, if you're saying, I want more money, I need a new job, things like that, you're just creating more wanting, right? So you have to um, be focused on and using words that indicate that you already have more money and that you have a new job, okay? Um, you also need to be super clear, like I said, about what you want because when you talk about what you don't want, the universe hears that set too and says, oh, she doesn't want this and she it, it, it only really hears the word want and you want. It's, a, it's this funky thing that happens, and the more you say you don't want something, the more you're, first of all, pushing against it, which just creates more of what you don't want. But also, um, the universe hears that and deciphers it as meaning that you, you want more of that. It's, I, I'm having a hard time putting it into words, but you really need clarity on what you want more than anything else, and then you need to use words that aren't want and need. Remember that when you're focused on what you don't want, that is where your focus and attention are. And you're thinking those thoughts about not wanting it. And, and because your thoughts and words are like a wand, you're creating more of it. So how do we manifest what we want using our words as a wand, as magic, <laughs> as a manifestation tool? Um, without using that word, want. So you have to use some different word choices. So I have come up with a list of different word choices rather than want and need. The first one is I like or enjoy. Now when you start talking about liking or enjoying something, you're bringing emotion into this. And so that is awesomely powerful. So the more emotion you can put into already having something, that's that sends a very clear, powerful message to the universe. So 
So I like my new job. I enjoy having money pile up in my bank account. This is, you can feel the emotion around it and you're using words that are not want, not lacking anything, right? You're not putting yourself in lack. And that's the thing about the word want is it's always putting you in lack, right? And we don't want to be using words that put us in lack. So I understand that you may not have a new job yet to enjoy or you may not um, uh, have money in the bank to enjoy, but the more you say it, the more you use your words as a want, okay? Another option would be I prefer because that's about choice and you're, that's clarity. Clarity that you know, this is what you're choosing, okay? So I prefer, this is I prefer chocolate over vanilla, okay? Another one would be I see myself having because you're using the word having versus wanting. I see myself having money just piling up in my bank account. I see myself having a new job or a fabulous relationship now you're also um, employing visualization and we know that visualization is creative you could also just simply say I have which puts it in the present I have money piling up in my bank account may not be true yet yet but the more you say it the more likely it is that that's what you're going to create and you're telling the universe that is what you want but you're experiencing it now and you can have gratitude for it now, which is an emotion and that makes it easier to manifest. You could also say, I am creating. So we're all creators, powerful creators with our words and it's who we are, we're creators. And so when you say I'm creating, it's the action of creation. So you're affirming that you are actually creating that new job or creating that money piling up in your bank account. Another way to phrase what you want is I choose to have or I choose to create. Again, this is a choice, a very clear choice. You're making a decision and the universe can understand that. Along the same lines, I decide to have. I decide that I now have more money piling up in my bank account. I decide to find a new job. Right? Find is an action word. I find it. I'm, or I decide to um, have a new employer, whatever it is. I decide to have money piling up in my bank account. Another one you could use is I love or I'm passionate about my new job or finding a new job. Although you don't want to be stuck in finding. You really want to have it. I and I love the fact that money piles up in my bank account. I'm passionate about earning more money. I'm passionate about my new job. Okay. Another one is I fancy. A little bit British here, I fancy. I don't do a good British accent. I fancy whatever it is. Now that's again, it's an emotion of desiring and bringing to you, right? But it's close to want. Um, unless you say I fancy, chocolate over vanilla ice cream. I fancy Milky Ways over Hershey's Kisses. <laughs> it's, oh, heading towards Halloween here. <laughs> Candy's on my mind. But you see then that it's about, about a, um, a choice, about a preference. And when we can tell the universe clearly what we prefer, we are more likely to manifest it. Um, a last one that I came up with is I've set my heart on. I set my heart on having a new job. I've set my heart on a new, instead of having, well, you could use having, but you could say, I set my heart on a new fabulous job that uses all my potential, right? I set my heart on being a millionaire. Lots of emotion in that, right? So you've set your heart on it. So last, but definitely not least, we will come back around to identity. I always seem to come back around to identity. And you can actually, instead of saying, I want such and such, such you can say, I am someone who has. Tie in who you're being to that. So if, if what you want is to be a millionaire, and that feels far off in the future, that's point B, and you're at point A, you have to, have to work from point B. 
and to say, who would I be if I was a millionaire? Like, who would I be to, to who would I have to be to have a million dollars in the bank? And what would that person do? And how would they feel? And how would they show up? Be that person now. Be that person now. And when you are constantly saying, I am someone, I am a millionaire, I am someone who loves their job, I am someone who has money piling up in their bank account all the time, I am someone who has a fabulous relationship, you are more likely to manifest it because your words are working like magic. They are supporting your manifestation um, attempts. Okay? And they won't be attempts anymore because you're going to manifest it because you're not going to be stuck in want and you're not going to be stuck in lack. Right? So use your words wisely. Use them like a wand to create what you desire without using the words want or need. Okay? I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I would love it if you'd leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think about this video and this topic of not using the words want and need. And um, yeah, I would love if you would do that. Um, as I said, people know me as the Inspiration to Creation because I, this is a topic that is so close to my heart. Um, I have always been passionate, or since my early 20s, been passionate about how we create, how we manifest things. I don't, wouldn't say that I am the expert because I don't always manifest what I want, but I've studied this for a long time and I know what does work and what doesn't. And I love to help people get from point A to point B without anything getting in the way, including their words or their thoughts. So if you're interested in these kinds of topics, check out the Inspired Creator community. I offer both personal and spiritual growth there, um, meaning that I offer high performance coaching. I'm a certified high performance coach, and I also offer spiritual training and coaching on esoteric, mystical, woo-woo, um, spiritual type topics. Um, and um, I do that through some trainings as well as through my own brand of kind of combined personal and spiritual growth. I really believe that you can't have spiritual growth without personal growth. And when you have personal growth, you always have spiritual growth too. So if that's of interest to you, click above on the Inspired Creator Community. I would be honored to have you in the community and to coach you. You can join anytime. And um, yeah, so let me know how, how this all works for you, whether you have any other terms. I'd love to know any other terms or phrases that you would add to the list that I created. And um, I'll look forward to reading that. And until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results.